Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. Let's get started. Hello viewers. Today I'll show assembly and basic motion of a coil rotor using SOLIDWORKS. First of all, we'll show the assembly of this one. It is consisting of seven different parts. Let us start assembly. Starting from assembly. It is consisting of seven different parts. Let us take the parts one by one. This is the bottom part of the main assembly. So we have to take another part of this one. With control and drag, we have selected this component. Now we have to assemble these two. Starting from it. First of all, this central hole should be met with this hole. And we can reverse the direction from here. One constraint is met, we have to satisfy two more different constraints. Let us select this hole to be met with this hole. Done. Two constraints are met. Now the third constraint is required for this assembly. Let us drag this one a little bit up. Now this base part should be meeting with this part. Done. Three constraints are satisfied. First part is done. Next one we have to do this radiator part of the motor should be met with this motor and fan together. So this circular part should be meeting with this circular part. First constraint is met as this one is cylindrical portion. So in this case two constraints are enough. Third constraint is not required because we want to rotate this one with respect to bottom radiator. So we want to satisfy only two constraints. Third one is not required. Now the second constraint will be actually we have to satisfy the second constraint. Let us meet this one with the bottom of this motor. Done. Two constraints are met for this assembly. That means this motor can rotate with respect to this radiator. Okay. Next one what you have to do is this side protector should be aligned at this location. So we are selecting that central hole to be made with this central hole. One constraint is met. Next one the hole. This hole should be meeting with this hole again. Now the third one that is top of this one should be meeting with the bottom of this one. Three constraints are met. So this part is done. Next to that we have to meet this motor and this radiator together with this flange. Okay. So what can you do is the circular portion of this one should be met with circular portion of this one. One constraint is met. Green check. Now the second one also required. For the second one, we can select the bottom part of this one. Should be meeting with the top part of this motor. That means this part. Done. Green check. Two constraints are satisfied. Here two constraints are required because the motor will be rotating with respect to this one and that one. Right? This should be fixed with that main connector. Okay? Done. Next one we have to assemble this part together with this location. So what can you do is select that whole position that should be made with this hole. One constraint is met. Green check. Now the second one, that means this hole should be meeting with this hole. Two constraints are met. Now the third one is required. That means the faces should be aligned together. So we can take the faces little bit out. That means bottom of this one should be meeting with 
top of this one done all the three constraints are satisfied next one we have to fix that bolt at this location now while importing all these components and the first component was this bolt so as per default practice the component which one we are bringing first that is fixed so we have to make this one float and also the base part of this one the central connector should be fixed we can make it fixed done next one we have to fix that bolt at this location so we're starting with mate again again the central this hole should be mating with this cylindrical portion one constraint is met green check now the second one is required that means you have to fix base part of this cylindrical portion should be mating with this portion done in this cylindrical portion two constraints are enough green check it is done right now what you have to do we have to select another bolt at this location so what can we do is we can select another bolt by control and drag got another component now that to be again mate at this location so starting with mate now this cylindrical portion should be mating at this location one constraint is met green check now another constraint is required we can drag it down and select this face should be mating with the bottom part of this one done green check now all the components of this one is satisfied green check next to that what you have to do is you have to combine all these components in one circular array that can be done using circular component pattern so let us select the front view and we want to have circular component pattern so circular component pattern and with respect to one central location or central axis you have to make all these patterns let us leave the central part of the quad rotor and in this geometry we have got one central axis this is the central axis sketch number 91 we have selected now with respect to this central axis we have to make an array of all these components by four numbers with equal spacings now select the components to be patterned first one the motor radiator selected next one the motor with the propeller selected next part is this one bolts selected finally the flange all the parts have been selected as circular component pattern green check it is done let us see whether it is done or not yes all the components have been patterned in a proper way this is the assembly right let us see whether the propeller is running perfectly or not yes it is running perfectly right now when to see the basic motion analysis we don't want to go for any analysis at this moment we want to see the basic motion of this one how this propeller will be running and how this total part will be moving vertically up right so we want to provide two motors one motor will be controlling all the fans and another motor will be used to have a linear motion of this central part okay starting for the motion analysis motion study one from here to select the basic motion next to that we require the motor we are providing rotary motion let us select that motor location selected let us see the rotation of this one this will be rotating with 100 rpm selected now let us calculate this one for 5 seconds
done let's stop it and play it again so one motor is applied to have a circular motion of this propeller wheel next to that we want to apply one linear motion of this central part let us stop this one now we want to apply linear motion of this central part so again select the motor select linear motor actuator and we can select that central part of this one and the directions to be provided from here so it will move vertically up and let us put the velocity of 0 0.1 millimeter per second green check now the thing is uh, this one is actually fixed so the linear motion will not be there so we have to make it float initially you can see it will not run if we start to calculate it will not move as it is fixed so the linear motion we cannot see at this moment to see the linear motion of this central part we have to float this central part as it is fixed it cannot move up so we'll float this one now let us make it float now next let us calculate this one so we can see some vertical moment of this central part right so by the motor we can have linear motion by the same time circular motion of this prop the blades okay by this way we can have animation of this one also let us close this one and we can have a slow motion of this one let us have the motion with 0.25 times So it is showing that the quad rotor is moving vertically off by the same time the propeller blades are also rotating with a particular velocity. Now next to that we can have a video of this one. Let us close this and take a video of this. You can save it in the form of any video format. Let us save this one by the name of assembly2 and we will save it in mp4 format. While saving this one, the frames per second is, we can select 30 frames per second, it is good with the aspect ratio of 1360 to 305. Let us save this one. It is being saved. okay so this is all about our today's video this is a very basic video in this video we have shown the assembly of different parts of this quad rotor by the same time we have shown the basic motion of this one and in this basic motion we have provided one linear motion and also circular motion of the propeller blades okay thank you if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts Please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.